Good morning. My name is Tammy, and I am a naturalist from Newport, Wales, and Newport Beach, here to talk to you about the largest animal ever to have lived on the planet, blue whales. Today we're going to talk about how the ways these whales eat and the food that they find helps them to grow to their massive size, and they are massive. One blue whale can grow as long as three school buses, with individuals measured as large as 108 feet. The heart of a blue whale can reach the size of a small car, with the orders large enough that you could use them as a playground slide. The tongue of the blue whale, just the tongue, can weigh as much as an African elephant. But even though these whales are larger than any dinosaur that has ever lived, they feed on one of the smallest animals on the planet, krill. Krill are plankton, meaning that they are drifters unable to swim against the dominant currents, and they are about the size of one joint of your finger. Because these animals are so small, blue whales have to eat a lot of them. One blue whale in one day can eat 40 million krill. That's 40 million. Blue whales are able to eat these animals because of the feeding strategy they share with many other whales, which makes use of a structure called baleen. Baleen is what whales have in place of teeth, made of keratin, the same substance that makes up your hair and fingernails, and it grows down from the top of their mouth in plates that stack together to form the largest filtration system of any animal. A blue whale will swim towards a swarm of krill, opening its mouth while the ventral plates on its throat extend out like the mouth of a bullfrog. The whale will then push all of that water through its feeding structure, trapping the krill on the hairs lining the inside of its baleen. It will then use its massive tongue to move the krill towards the back of its mouth, towards a throat that is only the size of a beach ball due to the tiny size of its favorite food. This feeding structure is so efficient that blue whales are able to eat enough in a few short months to sustain their massive bodies throughout the rest of the year. Now at this point you're probably wondering, why? Why would blue whales, the biggest animals on the planet, restrict themselves to such tiny animals as food? The answer, of course, is that krill are vastly abundant based on their unique place in the food chain. Think of the biggest and most abundant land animals you know. Animals like elephants, moose, bison. These animals are all able to get so large because they feed low on the food chain, at the level where sunlight becomes plant life. And blue whales reach their massive size because of a similar reason. When sunlight hits the water, it feeds a vast community of microscopic plant-like organisms called phytoplankton which in turn feed the krill. By feeding low on the food chain, close to the level where sunlight becomes life, blue whales are able to access one of the largest energy stores on the planet. In Newport Beach, California summer sunlight combines with the deep, nutrient-rich waters to create a thriving community of plankton that brings the largest animals on the planet back to our coastline every summer. The population of blue whales off of California is the most abundant in the world, meaning that there is no better place on the planet to see these massive animals and the food chain that sustains them in the place that will always bring them back. This is Tammy from Newport, Wales, and we'll see you on the water.